morning. I've decided on a day's carp fishing today. I um, haven't had a day's carp fishing for quite a while, so I'm quite looking forward to the prospects of today. Um, I've come to Vale Farm Fishery near Andover, um, a place called Long Parish. It's a lovely, lovely location. I've had some really good days up here. I've had some good winter sessions up here. And there's three ponds to choose from. Um, there's an easy pond, a not so easy pond, and then there's this pond that I'm going to fish, which is a bit tricky, but uh, there's some lovely fish in here. I've had some nice fish out of here, and I've seen some lovely pictures of some fish that are swimming around in here. Um, so there's nobody on the pond at the moment. At the moment, there's there's two guys on the middle pond, and that's it, and, and me. Uh, it's still fairly early in the morning, but it's February. I'm not expecting it to get uh, packed for the people. Um, so choosing the trickier pond, um, hopefully, uh, I'll be I'll, I'll have the place pretty much to myself um, I've had a walk around three or four times I haven't seen much at the moment I've been looking for bubblers and clouding up water fish rolling um, but it is still February uh, it's not long thawed out it was frozen for quite a while uh, and I think last weekend a week ago today um, it was defrosting so it's still got a load of cold water dumped in there so I'm not expecting it to go off um, but I've just just found a little spot between two trees, deep margins, um, bit of bit of cover. So it looks pretty good. It's all I've got to go on really, and a bit of past experience. I've had a couple of fish from there in the past as well. Um, so I'm going to go over, set up, put a bit of bait down. Not too much bait, obviously it's winter. Um, but get a couple of rods out and uh, chill out and see if we can catch fish. Well, we've had a bit of a result. I started fishing over the other side uh, between the two trees that I told you about. Um, it looked good. Um, so I popped a couple of pop-ups in the margins just to see if there's anything swimming along. There's a, it's a, a tree-lined bank, so usually you get some fish patrolling up and down, um, but mostly in the summer. So um, I gave it a go anyway for about half an hour. And while I was stood there, I saw two fish show on this bank close in. Um, so I, I wound in quickly, I've come round, put, put two pop-ups out in the margins, grabbed the pasty out of my bag to have a bit of breakfast, and uh, the right-hand rob was away. Um, so we've got one of the lovely, uh, one of the lovely little commons that live right living here. Um, he's a bit lively, but we'll do our best to show him. Here we go. Lovely little winter common. Fought like a demon, come in quite quickly, and then went mad under the rod tip. Um, little little uh, orange pop-up. Um, about an inch off the bottom. There we go, fella. There we go. Yeah, a little orange pop up about an inch off the bottom. And um, yeah, he loved it. Didn't take very long at all. So I'll slip this one back, get the rod back out. I've got some ground bait today with a few dead maggots in it. Perfect for this time of year. So I'm going to put some more out and uh, see if we can get another one. Fantastic start.
being a little bit quiet because I've moved spots now. Um, it was very, very quiet down on the pond I was fishing, so I've gone for a move. Um, I've walked up to the furthest away pond. Um, it's like a long canal section. And uh, straight away there's, there's carp jumping. Um, quite a few. Nothing big. Um, sort of averaging about five or six pounds by the look of them. Um, but there's plenty of fish here. I've just put some bait in the margins and uh, I've got fish feeding on it already. And it's only been down there about 10 minutes. I've got two rods, I've pop, took two pop-ups out just by a willow when I've got here, but they've been quiet. Um, but there's definitely fish feeding in the edge, so I'm gonna wind one of these rods in. I'm gonna float fish some sweet corn down in the edge and see if we can get a bend in the rod. Wow, that was brilliant. Just got them feeding in the edge. Just saw a couple of tails waving and a bit of silk kicking up. Um, bit of sweet corn in the edge just while I was waiting for the, the main rods to go. Um, so I set up a little float rod, wound the rods in, um, started fishing, float fishing in the edge. And, uh, and we've got one. Didn't take too long either. Um, lovely common, oopsie. It's full of beans. I've got them in the net a bit too quickly to be honest with you. But, um, come on, come on. There he is, there he is. He's a lovely fish. Got to be pleased with that on a February. Cold, freezing February day. It is really cold today. Um, so I'm surprised. But there is a lot of fish in this pond. Like I said, I've moved the ponds now. Um, I've moved on to where there's fish. There was nothing happening where I was. Um, I nicked a bite early on, and then it was just really quiet after that. So. Um, I've used my loaf, I've got on my toes and I found a few fish and I managed to catch one so I'm going to slip this one back, um, bait the area again and see if I can get another one. Superb. Well, believe it or not, I've managed to get them going on the surface. Um, there's a corner of the lake where I found a few fish. 
and they were milling around on the top uh, and a couple of them looked to be snatching at leaves and things so I ran back to the car found a, a box of dog biscuits and started feeding and I've got them taken um, but I didn't have anything for the hook so I had to forfeit my lunch and use a bit of pasty crust um, but it's done the trick eee. but it's done the trick and we've got ourselves a little common it's a nice fish fought well enough on a Chapman 500 it's a really light rod an Avon rod so um, really light action so, uh, so that was great fun uh, so I'm going to slip him back um, use a bit more pasty and see if I can catch another one still taken off the surface um, found some wafters I side hooked one of those and it floated with a size 12 in it um, so I just caught this little common lovely clean fish gonna get him back quickly because they're still taken out there now um, I haven't got much longer left probably got about another half an hour's fishing left until I have to pack up and leave so um, I'm gonna make the most of it and see if I can get one more Um, there's a willow and a, and a snag tree and they seem to be cruising between the two picking up the old big dog biscuits on the way um, so here's another one I haven't had any mirrors yet I've seen mirrors down there feeding just haven't been lucky enough to hook one yet just all commons so um, not much longer left but I'm going to give it another go because there's still mirrors down there some better fish too so, so uh, while there's light there's always a chance Well, I said I wanted to catch a mirror and I've just done it. It's only a small one, but it's uh, a beautiful little fish. If you'll let me pick him up, I'll show you. He's, uh, I had him on a bit of pasty crust again. Um, I found that if I use a really small piece, it, it floats all right, but if the bigger, bigger the piece you put on, the, the more chance there is of it actually sinking. There you go, there he is. What a lovely fish that is. I've seen a few mirrors swimming around down there, so... Um, I was wondering when it would happen, if it would happen, and it has. There you go. He's gorgeous. Not caught any massive fish today, but I've had steady fish. I've had I've had fish steady throughout the day. Can't complain of that in February. Beautiful. <laughs> 